So you need your sketchbook and we're gonna write a few notes. Our next project, we are making Greek coil pots. And we're going to be making out of model magic. So we're going to write down model magic. Pottery is the type of art we're going to do. Coil, and you put equals a snake. And remember, you can pause if you need to and then pinch pot. On another page, we're gonna make a kind of a diagram. What we're going to do is you're going to make a little kind of boat shape. So make a curve, like smile line, make another one under it. And that's our pinch pot. And then on top, you're going to make a little rim, a few of them. And these are coils. Coils can also be twisted. So you can, this is gonna be a little complicated, do two ends, and then you're gonna make some diagonal lines like this. And then a line across, so it looks like it's twisted. I'll also show you how to make spirals. So kind of start on top, make a spiral that goes inward and stop. twist. This is a spiral. And these would just be more coils. All right, so pause here if you need to. Um, and then we're going to actually start our Greek coil pot today with the model magic little white clay that you have in your bag. And if for some reason you could not get the art kit, you could do this in Play-Doh and then show me after. You have your model magic in a bag and what you're going to do is take it out. My hands have some markers on it, so it's already turning fun colors. Um, but we're going to learn how to make basic coils, um, a pinch pot and stuff like that. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to roll it a little bit so you can make it a kind of thicker snake. And then we're gonna cut it in half and then half again. So take that three quarters that's left, take that one quarter that you have and roll it into a ball. Then you're gonna make a pinch pot. A pinch pot, you're going to stick your thumb in it. So it's like a little hat. Stick your other thumb in it, so they're both wearing the hat. And then you're gonna pinch so that way it becomes like a little bowl, not making the bottom too skinny. Then once you have your little bowl, you can kind of press down the bottom a little bit, but you want the sides to stand up. Now, once you have your little bowl, we need to start making coils. So you're gonna print off small pieces and coils are essentially snakes of model magic or snakes of, I'll say clay. When you roll your coils, if one part's getting too skinny, stop rolling there as much. Move your hands and roll to other places. So you wanna to try to make it even. Now this coil I can tell is gonna be really long. And remember, you can always pause this. 
but we're going to try to build our pot upwards. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take the coil and put it on the top rim. When you're making coils, try to not have them be too much thinner than a paintbrush. I think, yeah, you have a paintbrush in your, um, in your art kit. So if you take the paintbrush out and put it next to what you're working, that would be a good measurement of how or where to stop making the coils skinny. So I think this is a slightly different paintbrush, but not as skinny as a pencil. It can be a little skinnier because pencils are a little thicker, but not skinnier than like the end of this paintbrush. All right, so I put my first coil on and my automatic sticks. So you don't have to squeeze it and you don't have to, and you don't really want to squeeze it this way either because you want a flat surface to add your next coils. I'll get some more model magic. And I'm gonna do three coils. One, put this one on top. And if there's extra, I can just kind of break it off and rejoin it with the original pile. There's two. And if it's too short, you can also make a little extra to put in between. And three. So I'm gonna press it in enough so that way, or down enough so that way there is not a lot of spaces. Make sure it's sticking together. Okay, so the next parts are optional, but I'm gonna show you some other ways you can do this. Um, the first one is I'm going to do a twist. So you can make these coils a little bit skinnier because they're gonna to twist together. But for my twist, I need two coils. And you know, the worst thing that could happen with this is that if you mess up, squish it back together and do it again. That's the great thing about model magic. So you're gonna take two coils and one's gonna to twist towards you and one's gonna twist away from you. So you hold them, one towards you, one away from you, and they'll twist together. If one part gets skinnier, like this part, and this one's not quite twisting, I can just twist that one part that needs to be twisted more. And if I untwist a little, it's okay. Now, this twisted coil, I can treat like a normal coil. I'm gonna put it just right on top. And where there's extra, I'm gonna break it off. Okay. Got a cool little twist now. I'm going to do a normal coil as my next part. And there might be some little spaces in this one and that's okay. Maybe one more normal one. Um, if you know how to braid, you could do a braided one too. So you need three for that. And mine I'm actually kind of putting towards the outside edge because it's getting a little wider and I can stretch it just a little bit, but I'm being very gentle, not just squish it. But like I said, if it does mess up, you can just squish the whole thing back together and try again. Now, most of this has to be done within one day. So, or you can put it in a bag and keep working on it. So if you are not done, you can put it in a plastic bag and keep working on it next time. All right, the last one I'm gonna show you is an S-curve or a, um, a spiral. So I'll show you both. So a spiral would be a coil that you curl in to itself like this. An S-curve would just be using only half of it and then curling it in this way. So they curl the opposite ways to make an S or you can just curl it one way and make a single one like that. Um, if you have enough, you could do a bunch of S curves all the way around. I'm going to make a handle. So I'm just gonna stick it on the side like that. And I'll make another handle on the other side. 
if you want to make a like a basket you might want to use your extra clay for like a twist that goes from one side to the other you could also just do a few um coils just kind of sitting on top so maybe out or or ooh, or you can put them on the side so i have my s curves on the side here but let's say i want to add a few more spirals i could just stick them like right on the side they don't have to be like building it at this point so it's kind of like a little jewel on it okay so once you have this built, um, we're going to let it dry until next time. And then next time we're gonna paint it with the um, paints that I sent home with you. So, or you can paint it with the paints you have, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with this and add decorations with a Sharpie.